Underpower or overboosting in your turbo diesel can lead to major problems. Today, with the help from Matt Craig from United Fuel Injection, we're going to get some tips to ensure you keep your car running perfectly or worse, avoid blowing it up. Now, Matt, give us some tips. Aaron, we've got a three litre patrol here today, very common car. You see lots of them driving around. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people do their own home maintenance. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a few small things that they can do to keep on top of it so that it don't end up with costly engine repairs. All right. First one, very simple, pull the air cleaner out. This one's nice and clean, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty good. Yep. I mean, if that was covered in black and sand was falling out, then, you know, I'd suggest you replace it. What about if they get wet? Look, if they get wet, they tend to sog up. They don't breathe as well. Engines blow black smoke, low, low on power, all that sort of thing. The biggest thing is to keep your air filter clean and dry. You know, if you think you've been through some water or been on a dusty road, Take it out, clean it out, or replace it. A $30 air cleaner can save you eight or $10,000 engine rebuild very quickly. Look, the next in line, especially with this particular vehicle, is the airflow meter. This airflow meter here actually came out of a car that someone hadn't serviced regularly. As you can see, it's covered in dust. There's a little signal plate inside there. If the air can't get to that signal plate, it can't read properly, hence premature engine failures. When they fail, puts a lot of air in the engine, which then in turn increases the fuel in the engine. The engine pyros go up, results in piston damage. If it's like this, then I would suggest you need some further investigation. If you were driving the car, what would be some telltale signs that your car needed some attention? Uh, normally, under power, black smoke can be a cause. That's the easiest thing to look at, mm -hmm. first place to start. Now, people can bring their car in here if they've got any issues and get the service done here, I presume? Absolutely, get the car in here. We, we weld a fitting into the boost pipe here. We check its boost management. That's the best way to check on a, on a three litre patrol what's actually going on. And as soon as we know what that pressure reading is and whether it's controlling it, we can give you an answer and uh, see how bad it is. Now, Matt, once they've diagnosed they've got an issue, how do they get hold of you? Uh, click on the links on Zoom TV to unitedfuel.com.au or give us a call on 9259 3000. Okay, mate, well, I, thank you very much for your help. No worries. You're turning me into a man more and more every day. <laughs>